history. You made it. Of course, Newt. She was a dear friend. Let's head up. There's monument. My people will be Good glad you're here. Some may have questions about what happened. I hope it's not why. I'm still struggling with that one myself. Aren't we all? Perhaps that's the answer Bram left to seek. He's not here. No. He arranged this and then took to the mountains. The fire inside that boy. I almost feel sorry for any of Jormag's minions he comes across. Sounds like he's working through it in true Bram fashion. Good. Make yourself at home. Your Tribune friend certainly has. Now I'll leave you to it, Commander. Speak with whomever you wish, and celebrate. Or pay your respects privately. The spirit of air can be found in either. She had him dead to rights, and we all knew it. And what was he going to do? Beg? Plead? Wasn't his style. And Air wouldn't buy it anyway. So, he just jumped off the ledge! Well, she wouldn't give him the satisfaction of escape, even to his death. She shot him before he hit the ground. <laughs> Damn, that Nord knew how to exact revenge. That's so true. just like her. <laughs> Thank you for that story, Tribune Brimstone. I'm not sure why no one's ever made a tapestry of that moment. Oh, hey, good to see you, Commander. You two, spreading a little air cheer. Uh, things are getting too serious. Just ensuring they remember the right air. Hey, you're that Redlock Trombone, the Revenant, right? Close enough. Now why don't you do Uncle Trombone a favor and buzz off? But I want to hear about the Blood Legion! Don't you think quietly weeping in the corner by yourself would be more fun than this? Nah, this is fine. Yeah. Have you heard from Zoja or Logan? I was crossing my fingers they'd be well enough to make this. Still both laid up on my last visit. Hmm, too bad. Mordremoth's death came with a great toll for sure. You know... With those two out of the field, and Snaff and Air gone, and Kaith, well, there really is no Destiny's Edge anymore. I'm sorry, Ridlock. I know how important it was to you. But there's no sense in looking back. Maybe it's time to start again. Another guild? Would Air... She wouldn't want us to get caught up in her death like she did with Snaff's. Regret gets you nowhere. And... Tyria would probably sleep more soundly with the Dragon Slayer at the helm of a new guild. We could do a lot of good. It didn't go perfectly, but the small group we had was pretty capable against Mortimer. What would we call it? Fate's Razor! I will not be part of a guild called Fate's Razor. What about Dragon's Watch? Dragon's Watch. I like that. Can I be in it? No. But I've got my Uncle Beamish's magical sword. Not yet, kid. Commander, come see this. What's going on? did I walk into? A memorial for Air. You couldn't have brought a better gift. Yeah. Nice work, soldier. We're both tired and hungry. Wasn't expecting all this. Garm's hurt, too. 
We should get him healing as soon as possible. To air. What can I do to help? I'll send for a healer. In the meantime, there's plenty of food around. I'll do it. Rocks, you rest. Let Hungry gone? <laughs> can't believe it. How did you find Garb? Tracked him from the crash site. Wasn't easy. The jungle's still crawling with Mordrum. Some of them have come unhinged without their master's voice. Poor Garm followed air scent into the middle of it all. He was lucky to be alive. <laughs> we both are. Bram's going to be so happy when he gets back. He's not here? No, he's in the mountains blowing off some steam. Well, I'll stay with Garm and make sure he's okay. When he's ready, we can try to catch up with Bram. I'm sure the cold air will do Garm some good after all that jungle heat. Yeah, if I never see another pocket raptor as long as I live, I'll die happy. Come on, let's get to what we're here for. Smells awful. Um, that's Air's pet, Garm. Oh my, I'm sorry. I mean, he's lovely. <laughs> ah, he must have heard me. Sorry, Garm. <laughs> Shows heir at a young age. You honor her. This spirit recalls the importance of the pack, and you were part of hers. of Snow Leopard. Her stealth was renowned. You honor her well by carving this statue. About Air as a young Norn. Almost as soon as she could walk, she showed the instincts of a hunter. But it wasn't until she was as tall as a shortbow that she met evil for the first time. She came upon Dragonspawn attacking a farm, killing an entire family. The daughter was one of Air's friends. All by herself, Air took down three of them. She saved an injured kid and even carried him back to Holbrook. That kid grew up to be a great skull. His name is Corvin, and his life testifies to Air's first legendary deed. Air had passed Longbow Height when she made her vow. One night, a hundred dragonspawn attacked Holbrook. Jormag's ice brood were merciless. They brutally killed her friend Silas the Weaver, a crafter like Air herself. 
With Silas's blood still upon her, she swore to destroy the Ice Brood and all the Elder Dragons. I'll tell you how Destiny's Edge came to be. Air met the Asura Snaf and Zoja first, here in her homestead. They came to commission a stone carving of Snaf's head. During the sittings in Radasum, they became friends. Then the three, and Garm, returned to Holbrek together. I'll never forget how they shocked the citizens of Holbrek when they emerged from the Asura Gate. Snaf and Zoja each rode inside enormous golems with the stone heads Air had sculpted for them. They raided a frigid dragon spawn cave, and a lasting friendship was forged amid the icy shards of bitter combat. Many ice brood fell that day, but still, Air failed to kill Jormag's lieutenant. The three, nay, four, counting Garm, limped back to Holbrek, having lost their golems and their pride. In retaliation, Jormag's lieutenant sent a devastating ice storm onto Holbrek, killing many beloved residents. Newt White Bear was Such beside himself with fury and banished Air until she could defeat the beast. Air went to Lion's Arch, where she spotted a small guild of criminal pit fighters known as Edge of Steel. The first battle they ever fought together, they fought against each other. In the pit, Air and her friends, calling themselves Dragon Spawn's Destiny, fought Edge of Steel and won. She demanded her prize that Edge of Steel help with the second assault on the Dragon Lieutenant. The Edge of Steel fighters had to agree. Ritlock Brimstone, Logan Thackeray, and Firstborn Kaith joined Air's cause. When Air next entered Holbrek, she was with Destiny's Edge. They went on to destroy the Dragonspawn Lieutenant. It was the first of many important battles Air's they would fight and win company. together. History. <laughs> Bear gives us our ferocity, and Air was loved by Bear. You do her honor and remind us of our gifts from all the spirits. Your craftsmanship does Air honor. She was a great sculptor drawing her inspiration and skill from Raven. There will never be another Heir Stigall. Everyone, lend us your ears. The one who killed Zaitan with Heir Stigalkin would like to say a few words. We've all lost people we loved, and the pain of that can be distracting. But we can't let the pain stop us from moving forward without them. Without her. Instead, we honor, celebrate her life. The gift that she was. Air is a part of me. A part of us all. How do we dignify that? by living the rest of our own lives larger, better, bolder. We love, we laugh, we defend our world, and we fight for what is right. We do what she would have done. Homesteaders, hunters, heroes all, to air! Two <laughs> to a great warrior and friend. Goodbye, here. Commander, this just arrived for you. Heirs to Dalkin. Her legend lives on. May we all carry her memory until we join her and the great spirits. Yeah.
Looks like I'm off to Rodanovis. Written Powerful. Care to follow? Sure. But I need to take care of something on the way. Or rather, tell someone I won't be taking care of something. Never mind. I'll meet you there. History. Sure. Rox, Ritlock talked me into founding a new guild. It'd be great to have you. And pass the invitation on to Bram when you see him. Hmm. Actually, don't. We should so admit that. I'll do it in person. I don't want him to think we're merely replacing Destiny's Edge after his mother's death. I get it. And I think he will too, when the time's right. Air's monument will be a good company. Yes. Legendary. One second, please. Security breach detected. Gollum, what are you doing? Responding with full force. No! This is not happening! Stop! Hold! Cease! Desist! Timey! Uh, sorry about that. Don't worry about it. All this crunchy old tech's been overstimulated by the influx of magic. Glad you're here. Yeah, I got your letter. Funny. I also sent one to this guy, but he barely made it. Your note failed to mention how to navigate this Asuran playground. He got lost trying to find the lab. I had to follow the non-stop stream of char expletives to track him down. City of the future, my tale. It's good to see you. I was so happy when I saw your mission was a success. But then I heard about Marshal Treherne. He saved us all. His sacrifice won't soon be forgotten. But there's good news, too. Ritlock says we're starting a new guild. So exciting! Glad you're on board. Of course you are! Someone has to be the brains! Haha, <laughs> kidding. In all seriousness, though, I suspect some of the things I'm working on in this place will come in very handy. How have you been doing here? Great. It's fantastic. Well, it was before every Asura and their Grand Mentor showed up. At least you have a lot of hands to pitch in at the Dragon Lab. What do you mean, Commander? I've never heard of this room you describe. Keep it down about the Dragon Lab. I don't want anyone finding out about it, especially... Hello, progeny. Counselor Flood, how lovely to see you. I'm so pleased you didn't end up on a Chalk's breakfast menu this morning. Uh, you can stow the dim insults. They'll never be clever enough to wound me. Now, have there been any new developments today? Why, none that I can think of. Allow me to warn you about keeping secrets from me, progeny. My wrath is as fierce as my intellect. Oh, that sounds terrifying. I wouldn't dream of hiding something from you, Counselor. Hm. I'm totally hiding something from him. Let's head there now, but not the way you know. We're going through the gate. I've configured it to appear as if we're going to the command center, but we're really going to you know where. Except there's a catch. You have to outsmart the security measures. You're joking, right? Not this time. 
Give it a shot and I'll observe. See if you can crack the code. I'll give you a hint. Do exactly as you're told. Unidentified user. Security measures activated. to put you through that. I need to keep people who may or may not be named Flunt out of here. Now that the subterfuge is out of the way, can we get to what you called us here for? Yes, this is a replica of the Leyline energy map we found outside of Tarir. I've been tracking the movement of magic since Mordramoth's death. It's been in total chaotic flux. Here, there, everywhere. See, that dot is the egg chamber. It lit up like a Lunar New Year firework after the dragon went bye-bye. But as you can see here, the egg's doing great! What are we looking at? A feed of the egg chamber? Yeah, the Exalted and the Rada Novans shared a ton of information. They must have helped them design their security system. And then you broke into it? No. I utilized it to check on the egg. So you broke into it? Hey, we're all friends, right? I don't think they'd mind. Just... maybe just don't mention it around any floaty gold people. Do you have access to surveillance all over Tarir? Back to the Leyline map! So this other point is... Huh, that's new. The Northern Bloodstone dot is flaring up. I'll have to keep an eye on that. The spot where Mordramoth died looks like it's cooling down a little. Yeah, a lot of that energy's been put back into the system. I'm trying to model its patterns, but this map isn't built for detailed readings. Yet. In the meantime, look at this. What is it? Not to toot my own warbler or anything, but I killed a chalk or two in my time alone here. Since the others don't know about this place, I couldn't ask to have defenses installed. So they pop up every once in a while when the lab's drawing a lot of power. Those. Exactly! Get him! Back to fighting with your short sound makes my teeth ache. Time here. You gotta stop eating cookies in your lab. I think they smell the organ I harvested. Might be one of their kin.
Don't worry about their goo. I'll clean that up later. Anyway, this thing is some sort of organ I found in one of the larger ones. It's part of their digestive system, and as you know, they feed on lay energy, so it got me curious. Any valuable findings yet? None I can explain right now. I ran some lay energy through it, and it came out different on the other side. Different? I'm not really sure how just yet. It was barely measurable with the equipment I have. I need to develop some other device to actually observe the phenomenon. What's that sludge you're keeping it in? Lighting pod fluid. Remember that stuff? It has wonderful preservative and even restorative properties. Fluid? From the blighting pods? The things that made horrible mortem abominations out of corpses? So you do remember it? Timey, do you think maybe that might be a bad idea? Uh, you worry too much. In research, there's no reward without risk. And if I'm gonna stay one step ahead of everyone outside this lab, I have to take a lot of risks. But one thing I can't risk is staying away from the main lab too long. It arouses suspicion. Let's go. I got your back. You first. It's just Tiny's friends again. I was told I'd find the pact in the bathroom. Anyone? General Soul Keeper, this is quite a surprise. What brings you to Rodanovis? You do, Commander. I've come here to offer you a new position within the Pact. The Marshal rank is, uh, vacant. And we want you to fill it. This is an honor. I'm glad you view it in that light. The Pact is hanging on by a thread. I see. I can tell you're having your doubts, so let me just be upfront about the role. Certain Pact elements feel like Marshal Traherne's mistake was going out into the field and getting himself killed. The new Marshal would be planted safely in an office in Lion's Arch, still leading the troops, but out of harm's way. As flattered as I am by your offer, I'm going to have to respectfully decline, General. After our Mortemoth battle, I believe I, Ridlock, and the others would be more effective operating as our own guild. 
I understand the decision on your early retirement, although I'm disappointed. I still believe in the Pact's goal. I do too. And I'll always be ready to lend a hand. It'll just be outside the system. Out from under a mountain of paperwork, you mean? Laugh it up, no eyes. I have something for you, too. A letter from the Black Citadel. You must have really brushed some higher-ups the wrong way. Hmm. Are you sure you want to just crumple that up and throw it away? Why not? It's what I did with the last two. What did I hear? You're not in the pact anymore? Wait, what do I call you? Booba? Uh, no. How about we just stick with Commander for now? Technically, it's a title for life, so you're welcome to it. Zero tolerance. What was that? That didn't sound good. Quick, let's go see what's happening. I came in through the caves because I couldn't find the gate. I wasn't expecting such an enthusiastic welcome. Did you see hmm. that? Blunt was so mad, even his fleas jumped ship. Cannot? You're my hero. Why the surprise visit? I'm here answering the call. But Mortemoth's dead. We killed... Oh, it's not the jungle dragon's call. This time it's Anise's. Still holds your billet, huh? She does, but certain messy events have transpired, and I'm assured that if I clean them up, my billet will be released, and I'll once again be free from any yoke. How can I help? <laughs> Minister Codicus recently... <clears throat> left the Queen's protective custody. A niece sent me in a squad of Shining Blade to help the good minister find his way back to Divinity's Reach. Any idea on his whereabouts? There's been a flare-up of White Mantle activity in Northern Maguma, and intel points to him possibly heading there. That's the crazy magical hotspot we saw, up by the Bloodstone. I thought the Minister claimed to not be in bed with those Mersat lovers. <laughs> Didn't we all? Ritlock, get word to the others. Marjorie might be getting a little restless in Divinity's reach and want in on the action. Commander, if you like, you can hitch a ride on my airship. It's on our way. We can drop you off. Now that's an offer I can't turn down, General. Perfect. I'll grab my Shining Blade detachment and meet you there. Significant discovery before they do. Follow me, Let please. Go for some peace and quiet, you chattering grow. Coming through. I want everything documented, and I mean everything. On it, boss. Pardon me. Pardon. Pardon. What? 
Let's get underway. Commander's destination ahead. Looks like we're in for quite a ride. We're not flying into that scramble, are we? My gods, grow a backbone! Scared of a little weather? Survived. Somehow.